Hello there guys, I've been waiting to do a video like this for a while now. On my channel, I recently have encountered a strangely large influx of young Earth creationists, people who believe the Earth is 6,000 years old or younger, and that non-avian dinosaurs coexisted with man. These people claim that non-avian dinosaurs such as Triceratops, T-Rex, and other extinct animals, like pterosaurs and plesiosaurs, coexisted with man as recently as a few hundred years ago. The big question is, is there any truth to their arguments? Well, judging by the fossil record, such animals became extinct during an event known as the KPG mass extinction, which occurred around 66 million years ago. After 66 million years ago, no indication has been found that any dinosaurs besides birds survived until the time of humans. It is possible such creatures could have survived, but the current scientific consensus based on the evidence is that they didn't. But let's ignore that and play devil's advocate. I thought today I'd start a video series examining such claims and seeing if there is any truth to them, and if you guys like it, I could continue. The most popular evidence YECs use to support their position is archaeological evidence, such as alleged illustrations of dinosaurs by ancient peoples, such as in temples, potteries, paintings, etc. Today I'd like to examine one of these such evidences and see if they are in fact non-avian dinosaurs or other long extinct reptiles or not. So without further ado, let's start. The top prom stegosaur has been a popular symbol of the creationist movement, so popular that it has even appeared on Steven Universe. Tuprom is a Buddhist temple and monastery created in the year 1186 AD in Cambodia. The temple itself has been in a state of decay for quite some time now, and it is slowly and beautifully being taken over by the surrounding jungle. In one section of the temple, a row of carved reliefs can be seen on the temple's wall depicting several animals ranging from monkeys, birds, ox, stags, etc. One carving has sparked interest in the creationist bunch. This carving of a quadruped has been claimed by creationists to be a depiction of a stegosaurus. They claim that the circular objects behind the subject can only be the back plates of a stegosaur, and the long tail can only be the characteristic of, you guessed it, a stegosaur. Is this true? Well, this claim falls apart when you actually have an understanding of stegosaur anatomy. Stegosaurs are famous for having a spiked tail for defense called a thagomizer. The animal depicted lacks such a trait entirely. In addition, we now know that stegosaurs possess stiff and rigid tails that stuck straight out. In reality, they could not drag on the ground like a lizard, or in this case, like the animal in question. Thirdly, stegosaurs are famous for having insanely small heads compared to the rest of their body. Stegosaurs, in fact, have some of the smallest brains of any dinosaur in relation to their body. The small heads of stegosaurs are actually one of their most notable traits, meaning the fact this guy has such a massive head in relation to its body is a clear fact that, once again, this can't be a stegosaur. Stegosaurs also did not possess external mammalian ears like the relief at Tau Prom. The large ears on this guy give every indication that this is a mammal, and not an archosaur, which instead possessed ear holes, without external ears. But what about those back plates? Surely those can only belong to a stegosaur. Well, when you look at the carvings above and below the alleged stegosaur, you will see every relief has an animal in the foreground and leaves and vegetation in the background. Everything from this bird depiction to this water buffalo depiction has leaves behind the animal. This gives us every indication that the back plates are actually leaves behind and unattached to the animal which creationists have misinterpreted as part of the body. If we step back and actually understand what is being displayed in this image, the thought that this was some kind of stegosaurus is instantly dissolved. It has big external mammalian ears, something no dinosaur had. It has a droopy tail lacking a thagomizer, something no stegosaur ever had. And lastly, the back plates are likely just leaves behind the animal in the image, just like all the other reliefs in the immediate area. So, what is this animal, you say? Well, it becomes easy to recognize what this animal is if you go just one kilometer west of Tapram to the nearby temple of Angkor Wat. In this temple created around the same time and by the same culture, you can see depictions of Asian rhinos. These rhino depictions always have long, droopy tails, external ears, and big heads, all things that gives us every indication that what is being depicted here is not a stegosaur, but a rhinoceros. Now again, I'm going to play devil's advocate, and say what if those leaves actually are attached to the body? Well, I can tell you stegosaur also isn't the most logical step, because it is possible that this would be a depiction of a lizard with large back scales and spikes, such as the mountain horn lizards and chameleons, which were just like the rhinos known to the Cambodian people at the time. Claiming it is a stegosaur is jumping to the least likely conclusion without evidence to support any of it. I can positively say that this is not a stegosaur. Most likely it is just a depiction of a rhino, consistent with other depictions of rhinos in the region. Before I finish, let me just try to appeal to your sense of logic for a second. 
Hypothetically speaking, if Cambodians really did coexist with dinosaurs less than 900 years ago, does it make any sense whatsoever for the only record of them existing is just one very tiny, very obscure carving and nothing else? We have absolutely no record of stegosaurs in the region except one teeny tiny drawing on the side of one of the massive temples. Does it make any sense to go against all logic and just assume this? Or is it more plausible that this is an animal commonly featured and known to the people in the region? Obviously the most logical answer is the latter. This is just a misinterpretation of a known animal, and not some long extinct one that has zero evidence to verify that it existed alongside these people. This guy is not a dinosaur. Case closed. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this very short video. Sorry it had to be so short. I have been working on my Loch Ness Monster video for a while now, and it's taking longer than normal. Hopefully I can upload it soon. Tell me what you thought of this video. I'd love to get some feedback and continue making them. Regardless, more paleo profiles and cryptid profiles are coming soon. See you next time, guys.